What's up, Airsofters? This beauty is the G&G Cobalt Kinetics Billet Aluminum Modern Firearm Team AR-15 AEG, or BAMF Team AEG for short. Cobalt Kinetics is a high-end arms manufacturer located in Utah in the United States of America. Artistry, attitude, and performance are their mantra, and they are innovators behind the technology they designed to enhance reload speed during competitive shooting. They call it CARS, the Cobalt Advantage Reload System. In real competition shooting, this gives the shooter an advantage of auto-ejecting the magazine as soon as they fire their last round. And this can shave precious milliseconds in a run, giving the shooter an edge over their opponents. Speaking of the CARS system, G&G has faithfully reproduced that CARS drop-free magazine system right here. The Banff Team AEG uses a really cool Banff magazine, which employs a paddle that is either locked or unlocked, depending on which setting you decide to go with, that ejects the magazine from the rifle when the magazine's empty. That's really cool because that's never been done with Airsoft before, and if you're into Airsoft competition shooting, it's going to give you that precious edge. In order to illustrate how that would work, uh, currently I have it in its locked position, so releasing the follower does absolutely nothing. The magazine goes empty, you remove it, and then load as regular. And in normal gameplay on a field, that would probably be the most useful option if you don't want to be picking up your magazines when you don't intend them to drop. However, by switching this switch to the unlocked position, By switching the magazine to the unlocked position, then when the magazine's empty, your follower jumps up and releases the magazine by opening the locking window that traditionally locks a magazine in place in your AR receiver. Now, I'm sure you're wondering if the system is compatible with other magazines, and the answer is yes. You aren't limited to using the Banff magazine. You can, of course, use the G2 magazine, also from G&G. &G. And the unique thing about the G2 magazine is that it has a follower that pops up when the magazine is empty, telling the gun to stop firing. This uses a G2 gearbox, so that functionality is retained, which is great. You have a multi-use system that, depending on the type of training you're doing or whether or not you're shooting this competitively or otherwise, you've got tons of options. But enough about just the magazine, let's talk about this beautiful AEG. First things first, it looks incredible. It's futuristic, it's got an awesome color scheme, and the whole thing is billet aluminum, which is a little bit weighty, but looks awesome. Up at the front, we have the Cobalt Kinetics Pro Comp, which is a real muzzle brake that they make, and it looks incredible. This one, of course, is for airsoft, and you couldn't use it on a real firearm, but it looks awesome. Almost the entire gun is CNC machined, and because of the tight tolerances that are allowed by CNC machining, the entire thing locks up really, really well, which makes for a very rigid platform. The lockup between the handguard and the receiver is rigid, as is the buffer tube stock and receiver uh, lockup as well, giving you a very rigid, stable platform. Moving back to the front, we've got the front handguard. It's been recessed at the top rail to allow for a nice thumb over bore without interrupting your sight picture. They've included Picatinny rail segments at the top and bottom if you need to attach a bipod or a front sight. But you'll notice that the top is free of rails, as are the sides. At the bottom, you still have M-Lock rail compatibility for accessories like a vertical grip, and there are QD sling mount points front and rear of the handguard itself. Moving back to the receiver, we've got plenty of room for the attachment of an optic, but not much else. You've got an ambidextrous charging handle, which works very well and locks the imitation bolt in place, allowing you to adjust your hop-up. You have a dummy bolt release on the other side to close the imitation bolt, as well as ambidextrous controls for your select fire and your magazine release. Just underneath that, you have a really nice enlarged magwell. That's something that Cobalt Kinetics does on their rifles. Uh, again, for speed shooting, you want to make sure that you get the magazine as, in as quickly as possible. One other thing I really liked about the ambidextrous controls is the fire selector is a 4590 selector. Now, I don't know why more M4 style AEGs don't use this, but everybody in Airsoft needs to switch their stuff to 4590s. It means switching between your fire modes doesn't require breaking your grip, allowing you to stay on target more accurately, allowing you to stay up and in the fight easier, and allows you to switch between semi and full auto 
quicker, and that's huge. Moving back from there, we have the buffer tube and stock, which not only look unique, but also house the battery in a pretty unique way. The stock itself is also CNC aluminum and can be removed using a five millimeter hex screw at the back. Once you remove that, it slides off, revealing a window in the buffer tube in which you can place your buffer tube sized battery. In this configuration, it looks super unique and because it's non-adjustable, you don't have to worry about it shifting on you. It's very, very sturdy and looks cool. Now that we've gone over some of the external elements, let's talk about magazine compatibility. Turns out metal body magazines are a little bit of a tighter fit than polymer magazines in this platform. And that includes the G2 magazine. It is a tighter fit, but it does fit really snugly and doesn't have any wobble. Just make sure that, you know, when you're pulling it out, you give it a little bit uh, more effort than you would with the included magazine. And that's because the dimensions inside the mag well are a little bit tighter than normal. Polymer mags fit just fine. I think the only one we really had uh, an issue with were the G&P magazines. If you have any questions, you might want to go to your local shop and actually test fit some magazines that you're interested in, or if you have uh, existing magazines, just testing them to see if they fit. But you're going to have best results by using G&G magazines, of course, and they've got some awesome options with tons of features built into them. So I uh, recommend picking up not only the G2 magazines, but the extra Banff magazines when they become available. All of these features are designed to help this rifle perform in a competitive shooting environment. And g, &G has included their G2 gearbox to complement these aggressive looks with performance to match. Let's take a closer look. The rifle comes packaged in dense closed cell foam. The rifle ships with a plastic tip, but included in the box is the Mach Cobalt Pro muzzle brake. The internals on the Cobalt Kinetics are version 2 compatible meaning that the majority of the version 2 upgrade and aftermarket parts available will work for this system. The barrel and bucking are standard AEG spec with a rotary style hop-up unit. Accessing the battery compartment requires the removal of the one-piece stock. A 5mm hex key allows you to slide the stock off the buffer tube to reveal this window, where you can fit a battery designed for M4 buffer tubes. We were able to fit a 1000 milliamp matrix 11.1 volt LiPo in this system. From here, you can see the inline MOSFET and the automotive fuse. G&G has also included a set of Dean style connectors for those airsoft players who want the most performance out of their gun. The G&G Cobalt Kinetics has a G2 gearbox, which means that it has a quick change spring. The buffer tube unthreads from the receiver, giving you the ability to remove the spring and swap it out to change FPS. The gears in the gearbox ride on sealed eight millimeter bearings. The sector gear has been factory modified to be short stroked. This means that there are only 13 teeth on it instead of the standard 16. Because of this, the piston releases earlier, allowing for quicker trigger response and faster follow-up shots. The polymer piston has all metal teeth, with the second tooth removed. The ported piston head has a bearing, allowing the spring to rotate freely during cycling. The air nozzle is metal and has two O-rings on the inside for maximum air seal. The cylinder head is also metal, has two O-rings, and sports G&G's logo on a rubber impact pad. It's a nice touch, kind of like an M badge on the inside of your BMW. The G2 gearbox also features a magazine disconnect, which shuts off the motor when the magazine drops free. This will also work with the G2 magazine, which is designed to shut off the gearbox when the magazine is empty. So if you decide to use any of the G&G G2 mags as opposed to the drop free mags, the functionality of stopping when the magazine is empty is retained. The pistol grip on the Cobalt Kinetics is entirely metal and is designed to be more vertical than a standard A2 style grip on a basic M4. It houses a long type high torque motor, which our EPS tech describes as snappy. These are his hands, by the way. All right, guys, we've got the G&G Banff team, Cobalt Kinetics Banff team AEG down here in our outdoor professional shooting facility. And that's because our indoor range isn't quite finished yet. We've got some targets set up as well as uh, an 11.1 volt LiPo battery in the stock or in the buffer tube, as well as 0.25 gram BBs loaded in our drop free magazine, which for testing purposes right now, I've configured not to drop free. Let's put a couple rounds down range. 
Now, a couple things I like right off the bat. The 4590 select fire switch is ambidextrous and the 4590 makes it easy to transition between semi and fully automatic as well as back to safe. Great for right and left handed shooters. Other ambidextrous controls include the mag release, which can be released from either side, obviously ambidextrous. I like that feature. And if you're using this for something like three gun, it's ergonomically very comfortable. I think the motor grip's very comfortable. Interestingly, it's full metal as opposed to a polymer pistol motor grip. Um, thankfully, it is comfortable, but full metal accessories like the motor grip and the stock do add a little bit of weight. I will say for being a three gun rifle, it's pretty heavy. Thankfully, if you're doing a, a thumb over bore or a C clamp, it's really easy to transition between targets. But for those looking for the ultimate lightweight rifle, this isn't it. We've moved past just about 50 feet to test the accuracy on this bad boy. Now I've attached a primary arms optic to this with an ACSS. I haven't zeroed the rifle. I haven't cleaned the barrel. Again, we've got 0.25 gram BBs in there, but let's see how tight a grouping we can get at this distance on a factory barrel and, uh, and see how it does. Now, first thing you'll notice is because I didn't zero the optic, I'm nowhere near the A zone. But what's important here is the tightness of the grouping. I'm well within a three inch group at 50 feet. And for something that you're looking to perform as a precision or three gun rifle, right out of the box with a dirty barrel, that's incredibly good. We've moved back even farther in our outdoor testing facility, again with two fives, just to see how much accuracy we retain uh, at the longer distance. Now, one thing I will note, because this is the G2 gearbox, without a magazine, it will not fire. So make sure that the magazine's in. So one thing I noticed right off the bat, of course, at 150 feet, your grouping is gonna open up. That's okay, because that's a body size target at this distance. And where you might be using this in game, that's certainly a reasonable grouping for a body size target, so rest assured people will still be calling their hits when you're 150 feet away. We're gonna go ahead and do our chrono test at this time. I've loaded a fresh magazine with 0.20 gram BBs. Again, we're using an 11.1 volt lithium polymer battery. We're gonna test it on semi to see our semi performance and we'll get a rate of fire as well. Uh, the X Cortec chrono is set to 0.2 gram BBs. All right, let's get a full auto rate of fire. Initial impressions, it's consistent for FPS, even on full auto. It's got a really healthy 22 rounds a second, which is fantastic as long as your feel will allow it. Uh, keep in mind that because this is shooting at 391, this is absolutely designed to be more of an outdoor gun. Uh, but the springs are easily swappable on these bad boys. So excellent performance right out of the box, especially with the 11.1 .1 that you can slap in the buffer tube. Now, Cobalt Kinetics cut their teeth on the three gun industry and they have awesome looking rifles and their claim to fame is that drop free magazine. While I think that's awesome, in a practical sense, if you're using this in game, as long as you're expecting to drop the magazines and you feel like picking them up, that's absolutely a feature to look for. I do like that they've included the switch to turn that feature off so that when you're using this outside of a competitive environment, you don't have them dropping on you. Overall, I think it's a really comfortable platform. I do wish that the stock was adjustable, but that's how this was designed. And these looks can only be attained by doing something super cool like this. Some things to be aware of, make sure that you are picking a battery that's going to fit in this buffer tube. So a buffer tube style battery is going to be necessary. Also remember to bring your Allen or hex key with you to the field so that you're not uh, <laughs> unable to put a battery in your stock. That's a five millimeter. And while it is interesting that they've given you QD attachment points uh, front and rear, they haven't given you any in the back. So you'll need to come up with a creative solution for putting a sling mount on the back if you do plan on slinging this. In Airsoft, it can be argued that the M4 platform is king and it's got the most attachments and the most colorways and options. And after a while, the plain old military theme can be a little vanilla. 
Now, G and G is at the forefront of a lot of new platforms that are very popular with competitive and speed shooters. Everything from the ARP9 and the ARP556, which still is an M4, but geared towards a much more compact CQB environment, to their new speedsoft oriented builds and even something that's really geared towards competition shooters. Does that mean that the only people that should be buying those are competition shooters? Of course not. This thing looks awesome. And I would take this out into any airsoft field, especially one that was themed towards a future space war. Space Force, anyone? So if you're interested in picking up a rifle that not only looks unique, but has awesome G2 performance and gives you a little bit better accuracy and performance with a unique cars magazine drop free system, and this is the one to check out. The G&G Cobalt Kinetics BAMF Team AEG is available right now at evic.com. To check out its awesomeness, make sure you head to the website and subscribe to all of our social media platforms, like here on YouTube by clicking the like button on the video, hitting the subscribe button, or clicking that little bell icon to be notified of when we release new videos. Or follow us on Facebook and Instagram to get awesome photo and video updates of all the exciting upcoming products like stuff from G&G &G and this really cool magazine dropping AEG they've got here. As always, make sure you play hard, play safe, something that Nike said, and we'll see you on the field.